All right, welcome back. Um, this is an invasion. Oh. It's a massacre. He'll stop at nothing, Clive. Nothing. Yeah, let's get these boys out of here. Man, this sucks. Oh. I yield! I yield! Look what we have here. Gentlemen! Yeah, you boys are about to get wrecked. I ain't gonna lie to you. You want to stay? Oh my god. Out of our way. Hello? 
you a lot of ability points. I actually don't know where to go from here. <laughs> uh, off the ladder. That's a dead end. This is not. We're nearly at the castle. It ends there. The will of lightning paltrow. Okay. Looks like it's cutscene time. Set her loose. They have a curl. A what? They have a what? Oh, hell no. What is that? I am fucking with think? this. I am messing with this, bro. Oh shit. Try. 
It's only 27. Damn. He's building up to something. We need to stop it. Whatever it takes. Bitch, I don't have that much. There we go. I think it doesn't take much. And let's be honest. Nice. Jill! We meet at last, Sid. Or should I say Lord Rosfield? I've been looking for you for a very long time. Let her go, Kuka. <laughs> I'm so glad you accepted my invitation. I went to some trouble with the decorations. Do you like what I've done with the place? Bastard! <laughs> Such a pity your predecessor couldn't join us. But I am sure you will prove compelling company. Be still, little snowflake. I would not have you melt before your starring moment. to the festivities. Just great, that is. I suppose it's up to me then. <sighs> Man, why can't we ever just fight something and just get done with it? The fuck is it? No more than she deserves for getting into bed with an outlaw. <laughs> Wish she'd get into mine. 
Lord Kupka commands your presence. You are to bear witness to the girl's execution. Such a waste. <laughs> Gav! Shh! Crystal fetters are a bastard to open, just so you know. Don't worry, I'll have them off before you can blink. Where's Jill? In the courtyard. Shit. <laughs> The Imperials have sounded the retreat and cleared out of the castle. But the place is still swarming with Kupka's men. Leave it to me. I'll make my way up top and circle round the back. Quick as you like, eh? Ah. Nearly forgot. Hey, that boy can't come and clutch though. I get it, man, but how- he went over here, but how did he- okay. It's how low of health am I? Yo, what is this? Yo, what the hell? Entertainment. Enough! Yes. Perhaps it is time we served the main repast. I trust you are hungry! Need this? Much obliged. Stay close. We're getting out of here. And Togul, thank you. Take all of them! Care to explain what the fuck your dog just did? Later, everyone, with me. That includes you, Tom. Hey, hey, hey. You're doing too much. We're gonna need you to try. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. We're gonna need you to do your best here. Yeah. 
still breathing, are you? Excellent. Then Lord Kupka's reward shall be ours. Ah, uh, if you can get there. I thought bad news always came in threes. Let them come. Oh my god, oh my god. Alright, I was gonna destroy it. Go crazy here. There we go. Did I level up? Let's go. It's over. For now. But I bet that wasn't the last of them. And they won't stop hunting us until Kupka's dead. So you get in there and finish the job, eh? Go on. If they come again, we'll hold them back. All right. But be careful. Oh, we're gonna kill them. Good. Three minutes, not bad. All right, another cutscene. throne, Lord Rosfield. <laughs> the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. A realm without a ruler, an army, even a people. A veritable kingdom of dust. Truly, I see no throne to defend. No! Enough of your games, Kupka. Just tell me what you want. Sit's head in a box. Imagine my disappointment when I learned that he met his end at the hand of another. And my relief to learn that you had taken up his thrice damned name. Your master slew Benedicta Harmon and defiled her body. If you choose to bear that murderer's name, then you shall answer for his crimes. The only crimes 
I shall answer for on my own. Sid did everything in his power to save that woman, though she was long past saving. And so I did what he couldn't. It was me all along, Hugo. It was... you. You... you killed her. I did. I am fortunate indeed. I had thought the most I could wish for was to take the life of one he loved, just as he did to me. But it seems I was wrong. And I shall have my revenge. We shared a dream! I would be the king of the world! She would be my queen! And together... Yo, this guy is going crazy right now. Come on, bud. Come on, buddy. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Okay. You will die by my All right. hand, Rossfield. My hatred for you is unending. And yielding, let this palace be your grave. No, I don't think so. What? 
I respectfully decline that offer. Nah, fuck my life. Yeah, this battle is intense, bro. <laughs> Look at this brother's domain. Yeah, that's what I was scared of. I'll do, yeah, I'm taking Faster? Hey, you don't do Oh my god. Brother, chill. Just like your forefathers. Your journey ends. What the f How am I supposed to guard against that? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Alright. I don't know how to dodge that, so I'm, I think I'm just have to take it. Oh, 
I won't better come up. Oh, okay. Thank God. We just had a tank. Like his, his shot, because I don't know how else I was supposed to dodge that. Spent all this whole game beating his ass not to get our speed. Oh, we cut off his hand? <laughs> Beautiful. How is he doing this all from his forearms? Mustn't get yourself worked up. Wait. Another time, Mythos. Is that all of them? I think so. Well, Ludus, scum. Who the fuck invited them? <sighs> Not that that's the biggest surprise we've had today. Where did you learn to do that toggle? <coughs> Not telling, eh? Suit yourself. Gav, we have to find Clive. Right, sorry. <sighs> You missed one. We were worried. So was I. I was so close. If it hadn't been for my gift, I would have finished him. I'm just glad you got out of there alive. When did the Royalists arrive? Right after you went inside. 
Just when we thought we were shot of Titans, lot. In pile Odins. Not enough of them to worry us, though. No. You didn't see the one who took Kukra away. So, what? You think they came here to save him? Well, I'll be fucked if I know what's going on, but every minute we spend racking our brains, that bastard's getting further away. So what do we do? We go back to the hideaway. I'm too tired to think. As are you, by the looks of it. And after what Jill's been through. Let's worry about Kuka later, shall we? Aye. All right. Well, give us a chance to solve the riddle of your magic mud, too. Hey, how are you feeling? Ready to go home? I mean, not, there's nowhere else for us to go, so I mean, it is what it is. Just look at the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? No more excuses, your ladyship. I order you to rest. <sighs> Fine. I'll rest. She's in good hands. But we should have never let her fall into Hugo's. Back when he had some like. The question is, where is he now? And what the hell were those wireless doing there? Hmm. I was wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. The lawsman. About what? About your faithful hound for a start. If any four-legged friends ever done that before, I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is, what happens afterwards? It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill... Right. Let me know if you learn anything. Will do. And you do the same, eh? Jill. Listen to Taya. I will. Thank you. The power earth? Nice. assist you today what is it that you wish to learn Today's lesson. 
not all of the nobles made it out alive. Kupka and his men had their... Is now a good time. It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Ah, oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and our other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. But it's only a maritime. Right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Mid. When did you get back? Mm, just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will you be staying this time? Dunno. A while, most likely. Any road, while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to. Please oblige her. While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Should you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air, which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the story and when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little... The storeroom, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. I don't know. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. Drawing on the deck. It's as irrepressible as ever. Makes you want to work that little bit harder to try and keep up. Jill looked white as a sheet. I mean, let me go update this guy and then we'll come back to it. Find out anything about Torgal, you'll be the first to know. How good it is to see you, Clive. I have a few new notes that might interest you. You wish to study the tomes? A bit.
Who else am I missing here? Is there someone I'm missing? Oh, the silver man. The door to the shelves shall ever be open. Oh, let me go ask him about the fucking two people. Is there something I might assist you with, Clive? Young Mir has always been too clever by half. The moment of her very first steps. She would roam the hall hideaway, tearing apart everything she laid her little hands upon. But it wasn't until she started putting those things back together again that Sid realized his daughter had been blessed with a truly special so. talent. Rather than see it squandered, he swallowed his pride and sent Mid to the University of Canaver uh, to study under the Free City's finest mechanist that was on her eleventh name day. We have reaped the benefits of her studies ever since. Her inventions are not part of our daily lives here. At the Hattery, even if she herself As is not, why she has stayed away. I would have it that a part of her is simply afraid, afraid that coming home would, would remind her too much of what she has lost. Did you know Did you, that Ted, uh, Ted's and Crow's parents were both buried? Having lived so long in a world where so much was denied to them, it couldn't have been easy for them to find but love. Once they had. Oh, how brilliant did it burn! I love that only burnt brighter once Ted and Crow were to bask in it to share it. Was taken away. Plunging the choice into a darkness no man or woman, let alone child, should ever have to face. A pal that will ever hang on to us as long as the magic who cast it walks free. May the winds of fortune carry you far. Alright. We're gonna save here. And like, comment, subscribe, guys, do all those good things. Catch you on the next one. Bye.